Hey, beautiful people. Let's get the lighting. Okay, that's much better. Hey, beautiful people. Welcome back to another life-changing, life-altering installment of Tea Time with Ayik. We don't always drink tea, but honey, please believe me when I tell you that we spill tea. My name is Ayek. If you're new to the family, I've met, like, we have, like, a hundred new people who joined us in the past month, and you're more than welcome to the family. I use my YouTube to share my experiences as a plus-size black woman, woman <laughs> black woman through fashion story times etc and i also talk about my move to nigeria i moved to nigeria december of this year is going to make it five years ago i spill all the tea all of the tips um and i also vlog daily vlogs or weekly vlogs of my experiences when i'm in lagos because that is where i'm based i'm a media presenter also known as a journalist storyteller etc and i love sharing my life and my experiences with you guys because really basically in summation i want you to have all the tips that you need all the experiences you need to grow and thrive and also not to make a lot of the mistakes that i made <laughs> so um we're doing something a little different this is a vlog obviously um I'm stepping out, guys. I'm, like, taking this bold step and, like, taking my content creation seriously. Um, if you do, if you, do, you may or may not know, I do have a passion for content creation, especially, like, video. I'm just a creative person. I like to express myself creatively. And I was scared to do it before because I'm like, mm, what if people don't like it? What if people are not feeling me? Blah, blah, blah. So I hindered myself a lot in 2020, but I'm like, you know what, 2021, we're stepping out, we're doing it big. And um, we're doing it big in a very big way. Yeah, I just said we're doing it big in a very big way. Today, I'm shooting um, pictures with my friend. She's actually like a big sister to me. Like she literally knew, she's known me since I was Tata, like a child. Um, she's a blogger. She's a content creator. Her name is Vivi. Um, her blog is called Heart Prints and Styles. I'm going to put it underneath. And she's actually going to be joining us for our first Real Talk conversation of the year, um, which will hopefully be coming out next week. So I'm going to be taking pictures for her, for her blog, a really dope blog. She's been in the game for a long time, so she has a lot of wisdom. And she's volunteered that, to take pictures of me. I'm like, girl, what you saying? Like, I'm nervous. But I'm ready. So I have a few errands to run before I go over to her side of town. And we're going to start, you know, the whole picture process. I'm going to vlog, you know, show you guys what I got. Show you my photography skills. I mean, hopefully. And, um, yeah, I'm going to run a couple of errands and then I'll see you at Vivi's house. Okay, guys. So I'm here at Vivi's house. Say hi. Hi, Lou. <laughs> She's prepping her looks. She has a plan on everything. I need to get on that level you one should. of these days. Any edits? Yeah, I'm going to put her Instagram down below. It's super cool. And I mean, for someone that's as organized as me, I need mm -hmm. something like that. So basically, Vivi was giving me tips on <coughs> my wig and also my look. And, you know, prepping for the shoot and stuff. And like I told you guys, I'm just trying to get all of that together. So I can like be a serious content creator. You'll get there. Yeah. <laughs> Soon. <laughs> so I'm going to show you guys what I'm wearing. I'm probably going to change the pants because this is giving me very much um, church auntie vibes. Sure. I put it oh! Hey! <laughs> I didn't even know you were taping yes. the whole time. I was vlogging the entire time, but it missed you though. No, I got some some parts of myself. Okay. 
Because we, you know, we started moving. Yeah, no worries. Okay. So Vivi is changing into her second look. And then we're going to get some good shots. Guys, can you believe this is from Modcoff? I didn't even know Modcoff was still... Oh. Get into the fur. Get, get into it. Guys, this is like high quality. <laughs> She started squatting. We didn't start squatting. We started squatting somewhere. Mm -hmm. Closer to the end. But yeah, it just, I don't know, it makes you look taller. Yeah. You get what I mean? Yeah. Hey, beautiful people. So, um, I finished shooting with Vivi. And she's so quick. She's already sent me the pictures um, that she took of me today. So I'm going to throw them in at the end of the vlog. I went to Trader Joe's to get things to get my health together. And then I went to Target. You know, we got to do a Target haul because it's not my channel if we don't do a Target haul. So let me show you what I got. Okay, guys, it is super dark. Yes, I have my wig cap on. I was wearing my scarf, but it kept sliding off. So yeah, I'm going to show you what I got. So first of all, I got a wellness journal. I'm trying to get into journaling this year. Um, you know, to manage my health, my mental health, my physical health, my emotional health. Um, they have one for like accomplishments and then another one for... Um, wellness and i i honestly feel like wellness is really gonna be now don't get don't get it twisted we gonna move up career-wise in the name of jesus but i want to focus a lot on my wellness this year because it's setting the foundation and it's super cool it has um month by month this is kind of stressing me out like why would y'all do that wellness journal please tell me why i have to manually go in and put in the dates this reminds me of like in elementary school, do you guys remember agenda books where you had to manually put in the date? Okay, I think I'm showing my age because I think like by fourth grade, they had put in the dates. But anyway, that's a conversation for another day. And then it has a monthly overview and it asks questions like, what did I learn from this month's experience? What progress have I made from last month to now that I can celebrate? What empowers me to grow? When was the last time I treated myself? I retreat myself every day. And then day by day it has like you're not gonna be able to see it but it has mantra of the day mantra of the week and then you have to again manually fill in the days of the week and then you put in your mood down here this was i think 12 dollars. i pray i use it for more than a week i'm focusing on consistency this week and then i got my favorite mouthwash guys get into it it's only 4.49 at target um, this is the antiseptic one, so, you know, if you're trying to work on preventing cavities, preventing bad breath, this is really good, and it's alcohol-free, but it gets the job done. And then, I got whitening strips, but, child, I had to get the Target brand because um, Crest was cool, but I think it was like 24 bucks, and this was going for 15 I just want to see how they work. I mean, my teeth are pretty white, but I started getting into coffee at the end of last year, so I think there's some discoloration.
Hey beautiful people, good morning. So I'm going to go ahead and bring the vlog to a close. I hope you enjoyed spending the end of the week with me or the day with me. I hope to do more mini vlogs. Maybe, you know, when I get myself together, we can do three videos a week and one of the videos can be a vlog because I actually like vlogging. It's less stressful. <laughs> we'll try to vlog more in the new year. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.